Wi-Fi and wireless routers is something that can be pretty tricky, uh, can give you some problems, especially if you have to go really far distances. So uh, if you're like me, you have that kind of one area of your house where you just can't get a Wi-Fi signal. Very often it's that corner of the house that's the furthest away from wherever your base station is. Or maybe you just have an older Mac that has... 802.11b, 802.11g, and you want to upgrade to uh, newer technology like 802.11n. Well, I received a review unit of a really great wireless USB adapter for the Mac called the Bear Extender N3. Uh, Actually, I've been kind of delaying doing this review for you uh, because I'm in love with this product and it's a review unit and I I have to uh, either send it back or give it away and I I don't don't want to give it up. So I think I'm going to talk to the developer and see if we can give it away on a future episode of the MacCast. I'll let you know. But for now, I want to give you my review of it because it's an absolutely fabulous, fabulous product. What it is, as I mentioned, is an external USB Wi-Fi device. Uh, it's about the same width and thickness as my iPhone 3GS and maybe about half the height. But the big deal about the Bear Extender is that the output from it, it outputs about 700 milliwatts. Now, if you compare that to the built-in airport card in most Macs, that runs at about 70 milliwatts. So we're talking about 10 times the power. Not only that, but it has an external antenna on it. So it's, and it's a, it's a 2 dB gain antenna. So it really can pick up Wi Fi signals that uh, the built in airport card on your Mac just isn't going to, to, to pick up. And so for an example, I have a Mac mini or my old Mac mini. It's a Intel or, 1.66 1.66 core duo not even the core 2 duo it has a built-in airport extreme bg card so it doesn't do n and i hooked it up as a home theater mac and it's in a back bedroom furthest away from my wi-fi access point and pretty much every day it would drop the signal if i could get any signal at all uh it would likely drop it and then I'd have trouble reconnecting. It was just a big source of frustration. And I picked up a 802.11n USB adapter from Newer Tech. And that's been working great, but it gives me about 25%, 30% signal strength. I got the Bear Extender and I swapped out the Newer Tech one. And immediately I got 60 to 80% signal strength just from the the moment I plugged it in. And if I play around with the antenna, which is another nice feature because it's got the external antenna and the external antenna, you can actually point it around and I can uh, improve my signal, signal strength that way. So overall, the Bear Extender N3 turned out to be about three or four times greater signal strength in exactly the same location. Not only that, but it did allow me to upgrade essentially upgrade through an external Wi-Fi card my older Mac Mini to 802.11n wireless. So it's it's a nice little product. And one thing to note about the 802.11n, it does support 802.11n, but it does need to be running at the 2.4 gigahertz band. So if you're running a 5 gigahertz only N network, it's not going to work for you. You are going to have to enable the 2.4 gigahertz band, but it works out to be fine for me because I use iPhones in my house, including my iPhone 3GS, and uh, that needs to run on uh, G network. And also I have the newer dual band Airport Extreme, so I can have both a 5 gigahertz N and a 2.4 gigahertz N network up and running at the same time and a lot of the newer routers are 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 supporting that even from third parties so even non airport extreme base stations the bear extender n3 is compatible with most macs running mac os 10.3 10.4 10.5 or 10.6 snow leopard in 32-bit mode the about the only models it won't work with it does not work with the older clamshell ibooks and some x serves and mac Pros running Snow Leopard. In the box, what do you get? You get the Bear Extender N3 wireless card. You get the removable 2 dB gain antenna, a clip that will 
go on the back. It's actually removable, but with the clip, you can actually clip it to the back of your MacBook or your MacBook Pro. A four-inch metal USB flexible cable, which is really nice for notebook Macs. So when you plug it in, you can kind of move that around and, again, get get directional signal. It has a three-foot USB cable for connecting to desktop Macs, and it comes with a little USB flash drive that has the software on it, the drivers. And you have to run a little piece of software called RA Link, but that's pretty common for these USB Wi-Fi adapters. It's actually the same software I have to use with my newer tech product, but very great, impressive product. And I forgot to tell you the most, the, the, the greatest part about it is the price. Uh, there's some competing products out there that are much, much more expensive. The price of the Bear Extender is just forty four ninety five, And there's a good reason for that. The, the name Bear Extender actually comes because it was developed by a student at UC Berkeley. They have a Wi-Fi network called Air Bears, and he found that he had trouble connecting in certain locations. It would be even, you know, you'd be in one lecture hall, and one half of the room would have Wi-Fi, the other wouldn't. And there wasn't really an expensive external product with a high with a high gain antenna and and uh, high frequency output that was affordable. So he went and he developed an affordable one. It's an amazing product. Check it out. You can go to bearextender.com. And uh, now that I've done my review, I'm going to really, really miss mine. I'm going to actually actually have to order one uh, probably right now, <laughs> actually tomorrow. As soon as I finish this podcast, I'm going to be ordering one. It's great product. I, I can't recommend it more highly.